When I was growing up, I was often the best guy at video games. It wasn't a very big circle of friends, but I was pretty much the guy to beat. It was maybe a group of 10 people that I could match my abilities against. Let's start that, start that timer right now. Maybe a group of 10 people that I could match my abilities against and I would beat them all. I'd be like, man, I am hot shit. I am the greatest video gamer that you can think of. Granted, I did not grow up with the internet. Probably the internet only became competitive when I was maybe 20 years old. And, you know, as the world expanded around me, uh, you realize there's so much better out there and some out of control video gamers in the world that there is no chance you could possibly catch up to. Take Spelunky, for example, a game that I've sunk maybe, I don't know, about 1500 hours total of game, of gameplay hours into Spelunky. That is a, a fair estimate, I would say. There is no chance in Tartarus I could possibly be the best in the world at any aspect of Spelunky, either Spelunky 1 or 2. It's, there is just no way. There is so much better out there and I could never catch up to their neurokinetics. A game like Anomino, though, when you go online and you see that... <clears throat> when you see that there are no speedruns of Anomino anywhere on the internet, I saw it and I was like, this is my chance. <laughs> this is my chance to be the best video gamer in the world, however fleeting, however shortly this will last, I will hold the world record of a nominal in the single segment speedrun category. And we are, I am doing this live commentary. It starts very tutorially, like I said in the video about this video game. So I get a little bit of a chance to, you know, expound, make my commentary very structured to begin with. But don't you worry, when we reach maybe the middle of chapter two, my commentary will just be, be grunts and disappointing sighs. That is going to be the extent of what I'm going to be saying all the way to the end of the run. So let's enjoy... Let's enjoy it for the time being the fact that I can articulate complete sentence sentences. Son of a <laughs> going getting that uh, live streamer pressure. I am not live streaming. I considered it doing a live stream to make it extra authentic. You know the the speed running experience is often live streamed to make it extra incontrovertible because you could make the argument that I could not possibly disprove that I went and edited the footage in some way, you know? And if you are crafty enough, you can get away with certainly a whole bunch of editing of speedruns if you don't live stream it. But the thing is, even if you live stream it, you could just be playing a pre-recorded video or something. You know, there, there are ways of cheating the crap out of live streams as well. It's just even more of a chat. That is not what you do. Even more of a challenge when you're trying to cheat on a live stream. It's, there's exponentially more chances of you getting caught and making a complete ass of yourself. Grab that. There you go. <clears throat> My personal best, you can see it at the top. I have beaten this game completely twice. Uh, you destroy this one right there. No, you absolute buffoon. <laughs> like, I got this down. But now that I'm recording it, you get recorder brain. What are you doing? There you go. You get, you know, live performance brain. I am just really, really hoping that I will not choke catastrophically at the end. There are some... Ah, oh, I did that wrong. There are some serious, serious roadblocks that still give me a lot of trouble. There you go. And I'm also, I, I, 
specifically, I purposely did not practice this a whole lot. I could, like, go super try hard and try to make this into, like, oh, let's make my absolute personal best. Chapter one complete. Uh, not yet. I'm going to do it as soon as the, the title appears. That's when the chapter will be complete. I'll hit the split. Um, uh, there it is. All right. Um, what's it say? So, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm specifically making it so that I'm pretty bad still. Like, I, I, you're going to be seeing a lot of restarts, a lot of mistakes, a bajillion time saves. Because I want to dare you to do better. I want you to look at this and be frustrated. I want you to look at it as like, bitch, I could be the record world record holder. Hold my beard, you son of a bitch. And, you know, you post it on the internet and humiliate me that way. And maybe we can even start a little bit of a world record race because I would be 100% game to try to reclaim my title for a little while. Eventually I'm going, my skills are going to be fully outstripped. There is no way I could match certain people's neurokinetics. The problem here, <laughs> the teleport is behind the, the timer. Oh, that's right. Wow, I can't believe I did that wrong. What an absolute buffoon. You're going to be hearing me really get real mad in a couple places. Okay, let's not be silly. Just do the safe strats. There are a lot of places where you can save yourself some time if you do the unsafe strats. So I think that is another reason why I really like a nominal for just speed running. There are so many opportunities to time save. Okay, this one's pretty tricky. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. There's so many places where you can save yourself time. I really feel this game could use a, a built-in timer system. Not have to use a... Oh, come on. A second party program I'm using, I think it's called Time Split. It's pretty standard streamer fare. The splits that you're seeing on the top right of the screen. There you are. Mmm. But it would be really nice if a nominal has something that is built in, you know. It, at the very least, as a timer at the end of your your level, if you don't want to put it running in a corner. Something that tells you uh, you took this long to complete the video game. Wow, that is the first time I have ever done that. <laughs> Never have I ever fallen between those bars. All right, let me just take it easy and uh, throw myself into the danger, just trying to be incompetent. Clearly, just attempting to waste as much time as possible so people get really outraged with this absolutely horrendous world record claim. And they're like, what is this garbage? I could make a better time with my eyes closed and a corn cob up my asshole. I can't believe he has even the gall to post this on the internet. I'm going to do so much better than I missed. I missed the pickup. I missed it. I'm going to do so much better than him. You know, why am I doing Stop trying to be fast. I just need to be safe. I just need to be. There you go. Yeah. No, what? <sighs> Will you believe me if I tell you I'm not usually this bad? I'm usually better at a nominal. Yeah, there you go. That being said, um, I'm not really concerned with wasting time in these levels. It is the roadblocks that I am very much intimidated by. No, no, no. Mm. You gotta drop after the after the red passes. Huh? What am I doing? Things that I have figured out so many times already. I'm just not doing it right. It's the pressure. It's the terrible pressure of putting out there a freaking world record run. It is getting to me. Getting those... My palms are sweaty. I'm about to regurgitate mom's spaghetti. Nope. 
Oh, wow. I can't believe that it worked out, and then I wasted it. Wow. <laughs> what an amazing son of a bitch. Give me about there. Right. All right. See? My commentary slowly devolving into grunts and outrage. Better. There you go. But, you know, if it's this bad, when I am in the super easy levels, I am slightly concerned for uh, how am I going to perform in the actually challenging levels. This one has been sometimes such a struggle. And it's not even a hard one. It's weird because the first time I did this level, it was nearly the first... Oh, it was nearly the first try. Then on my second run, the run that, whose times you, are, you can see in the corner, I struggled so... I died maybe like 20 times trying to get through this one. And it's really not bad. No, you can't hug the wall. The curvature of that spike, it is coated with the most dastardly venom. Cannot grace it with even a finger. Lest you want to perish. In horrendous agony. Alright, give me that thing. I'm starting to... I'm starting to throw. I probably already threw... I already threw in the many, many deaths that I had at the beginning of chapter 2. I swear I have done this chapter faster before. This is just awful. <laughs> I might have to restart the entire recording because of this level. Because of the sheer humiliation that this level is delivering upon my psyche right now. I just cannot handle the amount of shame that is filling my heart this very moment. This level is so easy and yet I struggle so hard. Oh, ah, I uh, waited too long there. Okay, give me that. The first attempt on this one, like when I was trying to figure it out, it was such a struggle to figure this one out. Now that I kind of have it down pat, I don't anticipate we're going to lose many more times. <laughs> uh. Gotta perform. Gotta perform. It's what I told my wife. Just gotta perform. Don't let the pressure get to me. I got a little too greedy there, but I think we're gonna make it. All right. I teleported on top of the red. I'm amazing. Absolutely incredible. Truly. No, don't do it. Truly awe-inspiring. The performance here. I have done this level a bajillion times, brother. Don't let the pressure get to you. We're not even chasing the boy yet. The developer messaged me saying, actually the boy is like supposed to symbolize hope, but I guess if, uh, if since we made the guy look kind of creepy, uh, I understand how you felt that uh, you were a creepo trying to <laughs> chase down a child. No, it's like some, it's symbolic. It's just the hope of trying to escape. That's what you're chasing. Well, buddy, I interpreted it in the most sexual way possible because that is just the way my brain is wired. I apologize for insulting the deep symbolism. Okay, this one I always struggle to remember. No, this is not how you do it. Uh, I always struggle to remember. Yeah, yeah, you go that one first. There you go. You grab it and then you go back. Many of these levels are... You don't touch that one. There you go. Yeah. Many of these levels, they take a long time to figure out, and then, you know, they're a breeze to get done. Uh, this one, I have it figured out pretty good. But I... Ah, oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I need to... When you come over here, you gotta grab that. That's the way you do it. And you go down to the port. Hit that. And we have one teleport up. That was needlessly close. I did not need to do it that close, but it worked out okay. And this one, come on, don't screw it up. It's extremely simple, but I have messed up so many times because I don't have the presence, the presence of mind. Excellent. 
Sweet deal, chapter two. Hey, still improved over a minute on my other time. Imagine how mediocre my other run was. That I did worse than what you just witnessed. Holy crap. Uh, chapter complete. Chapter three. I would say is the chapter in which I most struggled, but it's also the chapter that I have improved the most. I have kind of gotten the hang of this mechanic of clicking on the on the jump pads. Uh, clicking on the jump pads. And I feel a lot more confident. That's not a good jump. Ah, you gotta you gotta take it really to the edge, that one. There you go. Eee. Yo, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so the first run was, this chapter was the biggest struggle. On subsequent runs, there's been a massive improvement. Not to say that I'm not going to get killed a few times. But certainly, it's just, it's not going to be anywhere close what it used to be. Ooh, come on. <laughs> uh, you don't want to witness my first run of trying to figure out the clicking mechanic. It was just absolutely atrocious, me trying to get through this nonsense. Uh, this level wasn't bad. It's this area that really gets me. You know, if you fail to click on the platform that moves, that is going to hinder you quite a bit. If you want to go forward. Okay, I need to uh, get off YouTube video recording mode. I need to go into streamer mode, go quiet, concentrate. Uh, that way, I'll be able to perform at the level that I have to perform in order to get this done. Alright, right. pull off the last jump. You can do it. Hoyo! Yeah, yeah, sweet. Oh, first try on this one is uh, quite the challenge for my abilities. Feeling pretty great about one try in that one. Oh, I got too close to the freaking close to the spikes. Yep. Really like these levels though. They're really fun platforming. Really enjoy the the jumping mechanic. It was pretty mind bending at first, but now that I'm more used to it, I am pretty fond of chapter three. It's probably my favorite chapter. There you go. My favorite chapter to get through. Oh, my God. I was too eager there. Gotta delay it a little bit so you can catch that teleport at the bottom. Am I gonna make it? No, I was a little too slow. That's weird. I don't. I don't think I've ever missed that one on the way down like that. First time for everything. All right, don't miss these jumps. Oh wow! Yet another first time ever. <laughs> Never ever have missed that that platform. I'm really feeling a little antsy. I'm feeling a little antsy about what's coming because there's some serious precision platforming coming up and if I am missing jumps that I have never missed before I am very concerned very concerned indeed but hopefully we'll be okay hopefully I will not choke like a total bitch there you go Nice. No, why? I pressed the restart button by mistake. It is control. It is the button that is on my pinky. I got so excited that I pressed the restart button when I have victory clenched in my freaking fist. What an absolute buffoon. All right, this one's extremely tricky to figure out. And then after I figure it out, in the sense of how you're supposed to move the mouse and all that stuff. 
Uh, I don't struggle nearly as much, but it's still something that is gonna give me some troubles. Yeah, nice. Oh man, I'm so relieved that that one uh, got done. I hate, I hate this level with a passion. Of all the levels, there's going to be levels that are much harder than this. This is my least favorite level of all of them because my brain struggles so hard getting the jumps that I just got done in like first try. You have no idea how many times I have restarted that nightmare. <laughs> it's been such... Oh, that's bad. It has been so awful. I am truly flabbergasted. There was no restarts in that one. That was amazing. That was an enormous time save. All right. There you go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yo! Nice. Beautiful. Uh, you hit, and then you hit. There you go. I like to hit. Yeah. Wonderful. Feeling pretty great about chapter three, like I said. Probably my absolute biggest struggle. No. If you'll remember, this is where I choked so hard in the video that I did a feature. I featured Anominal. No, I didn't mean to do that, but... Mm, we gotta do the speedrun strats. Come on, man. I'm choking again. I'm choking. I have this down pat. Like, I had super figured out this entire level. I had it in my mind. It was a puzzle solved. And now that I need to perform, choking so hard. Okay, buddy. The jump. It is possibly, I wouldn't say the most tricky. I would say top five trickiest jumps in the game. What are you doing? There you go. Top five trickiest jumps in the game right here. Like teleporting and immediately hitting the jumper. Okay, on this one, I have figured it out. I have totally figured it out, and then I failed to <laughs> fail to deliver. But uh, the theory is there. I just need to get the practice. Uh, Speedrunning strats. Yeah, the developer message also said that was not intended. <laughs> the way that you go under that block. But hey, more power to you. I like it that you have discovered that way of getting around that. I can't believe this is struggling so hard. It is so ups upsetting because I have done this entire level in one attempt. Uh, there you go. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Engage full autism mode. Must not speak a word. I'm telling you, the jump is exactly possible, done exactly like that, except not exactly like that, because if you do it exactly like that, you will fall into the abyss. So don't do it exactly like that, but with the same spirit of you hit it like this, and then you jump. One of these days, I'm actually going to make it. One of these days, I'm actually going to make that jump, and it's going to be glorious. Nobody will make fun of me. There will be no comments calling me a scrub, a boomer, a brain tard, and also sorts of derisive name calling please <laughs> why am I struggling so hard I thought I had it solved I thought I was like damn I figured it out I, ha I was struggling with the methodology for a long time trying to get that jump reliable and clearly 
it was not foolproof. Because now I am a fool. And I am proving to being capable. Please! <laughs> finally! Oh, the struggle. And here is my nemesis. My Goliath. My evil roadblock. This is where I was completely unable to progress for a full day. And this is one of those games where you really benefit from taking a break. Just leave it. Come back to it later. Because you see, with a little bit of uh, rest and a little bit of practice, you might get something that you super struggle with. That you consider like literally your skill ceiling. You might come back to it and realize, hey, maybe it wasn't so bad. Maybe you just need to uh, get good, scrub. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know if jumping makes you any faster. I'm going to do it. All right. I'll be honest. I am not certain if I'm doing it right. Yeah, I am doing it right. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice. I am sure there's a faster method to most of these. This one took me so long to figure out, brother. Man, this did I struggle so hard figuring out this level. Once you get it, though, I am showing you the solution right here. Uh, not so bad, is it? <laughs> but figuring out that you had to stop that block there, man, did that take a long time. I will admit, fully admit, I tried to look it up, but there's it's the beauty of this game getting having no videos out there. I had to figure it out all out on my own, and I feel so much better for it. It's so great to have found a virgin video game. Uh, okay, this one is... I need to think about it. There you go. Another one. This, this is perhaps the most puzzly level in the entire game. And uh, this one probably, I was stuck at it, just trying to figure it out. For a good 30 minutes, it was quite the struggle. It was awful. All right, so now, chapter three complete. Chapter four is much shorter, but it has some boshy levels. It was some, it's some serious pain to get through these uh, before you know what you're doing. And even after I know how to solve them, it's rough. We're going to restart in these a lot. These are potentially the biggest roadblock of the entire run. So let me concentrate. Yeah, sweet. Oh, that was great. That was great. Only two attempts. That was excellent. Ah, I moved. That was such a, such a silly thing to do. Yeah. No. Didn't mean to drop. There you go. I teleported into the red crap. What an absolute buffoon. Oh man, I could have totally taken the chance there. Time saves. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you not hitting the things? Destroy the crystal, save the world. Bruh. I know that there was going to be a lot of restarts, but not like this. This is not the hard part. <laughs> this is not the hard part at all. Yep. And... Yep. Sweet. Another one of those that you had to really think about. We had to restart here. Because if you restart and you go with the starting momentum, that's where I have the timings down. You can just run forward. And then you... Whoop, there you go. Ah, so... Too tight. Nice. All right. That's the hard part. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you, you, you messed that up. I did not time the way down right, and getting through this part is such a struggle. Such a struggle to time these right. I was also super bad with uh, this kind of timing since Celeste. 
Celeste also has a lot of obstacles like that. Okay, okay. Oh, that was close. Oh, we made it. All right. Oh, man, I got a nose itch. I can't stop the timer. Another big, big, big struggle level took me. I, I was like, I don't think this level is even possible. I think this level is bugged. <laughs> That's not how I felt with this one. But definitely will tell you completely bug free game and obviously like it's a simple game right it is easily testable so it's not like a, a massive super accomplishment of the century to release this game bug free but i think it needs to be commended to the highest praise because bug free video games not not that common <laughs> these days uh, as far as i know zero bugs in a nominal and it's all user error. Every single one of your mistakes, user error. There you go. Now we wait. Oh, I was too eager there. Another thing, a place where I took forever to figure out, oh, you need to wait for a certain timing for the red crap not to bother you and now this jump is pretty tight i didn't make it you have to jump basically off the platform to be able to make that one it's like uh one of the few i wouldn't say pixel perfect wow i wouldn't say pixel perfect but i would say it's probably the tightest standard jump without any teleports or anything in the entire uh, set of levels okay now we wait Come on, you can do it. Yeah! Gotta do this plunky thing where you jump off the edge. All right, okay, we can do this. This, is, this level is actually super easy compared to all the other really tough levels in, the, in Chapter 4. But watch me botch it, you know. It's uh, very easy to botch. Conceptually, though, it's very, very simple compared to the others. Like, you don't really have to perform super hard you just need to kind of figure it out thankfully pulled it off in one attempt feels great all right this one is another big struggle to figure out and then once i figured out it's like oh you just have to do this and uh, it became so much easier to replicate obviously not claiming that i'm going to win but i did win so it feels pretty great just the fact and this is this was the level where I was like, I think this one's bugged. I don't think this is possible. But it is possible. Hopefully we can pull it off in one attempt. Oh, that was so tight. So tight. Uh, wow. I, I think I spent the most amount of time, just time looking at it in this level. Compared to the others where it's, you know, having to perform. This one, just figuring out how you had to do it, uh, is the one that took the longest. Once you understand the mechanics, it's not so bad. This one is also so deceptive. You think you have to use every node, but you don't. And it makes it so much easier. Whoops, <laughs> hit the wrong thing. Okay. All of these that we're going through right now, I struggle so hard on all of them. All of them are hard. Yeah, but, you know, getting better. Oh, this one's rough as well. Let me restart. Got a grab, hit. To destroy all of them. And then jump. Oh, baby. <laughs> Pretty great, not gonna lie. I thought I would choke on most of these. First try, first try. No, you gotta. These jumps are so tight. You have to get maximum height on all of them. And if you don't, you obviously get squashed. So, uh, I feel it's almost like with my brain capabilities, it's almost random whether I get it right or not. Nice. We're almost there. Chapter four is quite a bit shorter because of the difficulty of the puzzles. 
This one, oh man, I messed that jump for so hard. Um, this one, I think this one is bugged, but in the favor of the player. Let me show you. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do this. I think you're supposed to use the other block somehow. I've never done it. Oh, that was a mistake. I've never done it. I've always just teleported, you know, in that little narrow thing. It feels like, I don't know, I'm 50-50 on whether that's intentional or not. Because, you know, there's a moving block up there, like, probably they intended for me to use it somehow, right? But uh, it's not something that I'm using, so... And here it is. Here is the real struggle. We can spend five seconds in this one. We may spend the next 20 minutes in this one. These teleports are so awful. The margin of error... It's so tiny. I dare you to come into a nominal and pull off this level with any kind of reliability. It is just... Oh, I almost have it though. Just gotta perform the last jump. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. You gotta just concentrate, brother. The thing is, like, it's not even concentrating. I basically brute forced this level. And sometimes I'll get lucky, get it on my third attempt. I have done a good 50 attempts on this one. And finally get it right. Because conceptually, I get it. I know what I have to do. It's complete hand-eye coordination. And it's so hard for me to pull it off. Gotta, like, you gotta hug the wall, but let go of the directional as you're falling. Or you will hit the next set of spikes, you know? Here's the roadblock. Here's with the choke. Here's the massive choke. Where the world record speedrun can go to shit. This is the second to last level. The next level... I'll be surprised if it takes more than 10 tries. I don't think I'll get it on the first. But it's so <laughs> much easier than this one. It's just outrageous how much easier the last level is than the second to last. Bruh. No, why? <laughs> and that's a problem that uh, you get with this type of game, not just a nominal. Oh, so close. Um... Your brain kind of discombobulates. You get a number of attempts in, and the sequence of movements is such that your muscle memory just borks out, and you start doing completely wrong things because your brain got fried, you know? We're, we're so close, brother. We're so close. Your brain gets fried, and if you don't just step away, give yourself some time to recuperate, we're so close. Give yourself some time to get back into... Into the proper mindset. We can do it. This is the level I was the most worried about. Because that last sequence there is so difficult to pull off. I'm happy with the consistency of the rest of them, though. Usually I struggle way, way more with the rest of the level. So at least that's getting a little bit better. Especially this middle jump right there, jumping under the spikes. I botched that one like 50% of the time, so we're doing a lot better than my usual. Oof. Just gotta do it. I really want it. To go under 40. I wanted to go under 40. It's not going to happen though. Now, what do I anticipate? Oh, baby! <laughs> what would I anticipate a real world record to look like? I would say maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes sounds about right. What would be my personal best? I think I could 
I would not say easily, but I think I can definitely get a sub 30. Sub 30 for me is certainly possible. Man, I'm struggling with that jump that I usually do quite well. Mm, in the other times I've been this far. I think I could very reasonably get a sub 30 run. Yeah, there you are. And now... Oh, I did it wrong. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah, all right. Uh, and now, collect both. Teleport twice. There you go. Yeah! Didn't get the sub 40, though, unfortunately. But this is the end of the game. I dare you. I dare you to take this world record away from me. You don't got the balls to get this world record away from me. I will race you until maybe, you know, it gets to 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, this is this is the end. <laughs> the world record timer officially ends when the credits show. There you go. That is it. 40 minutes, 46 seconds. I can see myself getting sub 30. I can see a pro player going 20, maybe even 15. A tool assisted run will be about 15 minutes, I would say. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy yourself. I dare you to do better than this. World record, single segment, anomal. Raise me, baby. <laughs>